the brain's highly metabolic reactive. The brain cares an awful lot about what its environment is like. If it's off just a little tiny bit, it stops functioning properly. We show that the CSF goes into the brain just like people thought before, but it actually does so along very specific anatomical structures. There's specialized, a specialized anatomy that allows the, C, the CSF to move very quickly and very deep into the brain, exchanging with the fluid that's inside the brain and then moving out. So it's a much more efficient system for clearing the, the fluid and the waste out of the brain. We injected fluorescent tracer into the CSF or the fluid that surrounds the brain and watched to see where it went. The fluid as it moves down the artery is able to move right into the brain tissue. As it moves into the brain tissue, eventually, if you look long enough, where it collects is at the other end, at veins, which are another part of the circulation. Once it reaches those veins, it's able to drain out of the brain along the outside of the veins. As the fluid sort of courses between those two, in along the arteries, through the tissue, out along the veins, that continuous flow sweeps along particles that are sitting in between the cells. Amyloid beta is a protein that is made and secreted from cells in your brain all the time. Uh, in Alzheimer's disease, one of the things that happens is amyloid beta uh, builds up in the brain and clogs up the space in between the cells. And it's thought that that's what kills the neurons and causes the dementia that's the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So when we first found this system and found that it was clearing extracellular sol solutes, we said, well, what solutes might be of interest that might be being cleared by this? And when you think about extracellular solutes that the brain wants to get rid of and needs to get rid of, the first thing that comes to almost everyone's mind is amyloid beta. So that was the, pretty much the first thing we tried was to find out whether amyloid beta that's between the cells is cleared along this pathway. One thing that could be happening in Alzheimer's disease is this pathway is failing. So um, if because, you know, because you're aging, uh, this pathway stops working properly, or if because you suffer an injury or an inf infection at some point in your life, maybe this pathway stops working properly, and that ends up causing the, the deposition and the, uh, the accumulation of amyloid. For treatment, it, all, it suggests that um, you could slow the process of amyloid deposition, perhaps by speeding the system up and sort of flushing the brain out and getting rid of the amyloid before it accumulates. And if you had you know, a brain that had a bunch of amyloid that had already accumulated in it, perhaps you might be able to flush that away or wear away those accumulations with you know, a higher rate of flow. So we may be able to try to modulate or change how this system functions to try to clear it more quickly.